Are you ready for the third lesson of Angular course? Hello everyone and welcome in the next episode. Today we are going to move forward in our Angular course and we are going to lesson 3. We will be building dashboard UI and we will get user from API and use the data in our template. So, let's go! Okay, so let's start, let's open our code after the second lesson or if you didn't do it with me, you can go back to the first and second lesson, complete them or you can get the code from the GitHub. I will put the link here so you can go there and just fork the code. Okay, so let's start our application. If you don't remember, it's ng-serve. Also, if you are creating a backend with us, you can start it as well because we are going to use it. Okay, application is running, let's check if it works, it works, great. So let's open the code in your favorite code editor and let's start coding. Great, here we are. What we need to do is to create a new component and I will call my component account balance. Let's use ngCLI. Okay, the component is done. So let's go back to the code. And the first thing we would like to do is to see if our component is uh, shown. So uh, we would like to append it to the dashboard component. So let's open dashboard component HTML. And let's put our new component into the template. Let's do it down the bottom. Okay, we can save. Let's log in and let's see. Yeah, it's here, so it works correctly. So the first step is done. Now let's open Tailwind CSS and we are going to use card. Something like the first one, just we, we won't use this photo. I have my code ready, so I'll just start typing. You can copy paste, it will be a little bit easier. And I'll just edit some custom uh, class names. So let's start. As always, I will add an ID of this uh, template so it will be easier to do some custom styling. Besides that, I have a new image to edit here. You can download any image you would like from any free resources or maybe an icon. So in this box we will display a header, current account balance, a actual balance, so the number with a dollar sign, the image and the date. Most of these data we will get through API call from database as our user, but some of them we need to generate by ourselves like data for example, and image will be static. 
cool let's also add some custom styling because we want our image to have some max height and here is the result if you've got the same that's cool and let's continue it's time to go to our login service maybe you remember that during the login call we also got user data and today we are going to listen for this data and save it as observable so let's create user subject with subject behavior and let's create the user Inside the if statement in login function, we will check if ResData exists. If it does, we will assign it to the user using our user subject string. Great. Now let's go back to the dashboard component and here we will need to get this user data. So let's declare user. We will assign a null to the user currently. And let's import the login service. Okay, let's pass it to the constructor and on ng on init we will listen for the user. So this login service, user subject. And we'll subscribe to user. And here we will assign uh, the value we've got to our this user. Cool, yeah, let's remove this space. Great. So now we would like to change our user here for actual username. So if we have user, then we'll use user username. If not, then we will just use user. And we want to pass user to the account balance because we, we are going to use the data there. So we are using the syntax like you can see on the screen. Cool. Let's go back to account balance component right now and let's import input. We are using input to get this uh, user which we passed in the dashboard uh, template. So if we got user, user have an array of objects called accounts. And inside this account balance, we are going to use only accounts. So we are going to use ng4 and iterate through the amount of accounts because if user have more than one account, then we would like to display more of these uh, tables, cards, with the account balance. Okay, so let's change the account for actual account name. Of course, if it exists. If not, we will leave account here. Okay, also let's change the amount for the actual amount. If not, we'll just leave it empty. Or maybe let's put a zero here. Okay. 
Okay, and the last thing which we need to generate is our data. So, let's go back to our component and let's declare four values. Date, day, month and year. Okay, so now let's get today's date using new date. And from today's date, we are going to take the day of the month, the month and the year. With month, it will be a little bit different because we need to add plus one to the number we get because it's counted from zero. Okay. So let's go and use these values in our template. Cool, now we can check the result. Let's log in. Great, it works. You might realize one thing, that after you will refresh the page, you won't have all this data. We are getting it with login and we are saving the JVT token, but we are not getting user by JVT token yet. In the next lessons, we are going to create a function which will find user in the database according to the JVT token we have saved in our, in our session storage. So congratulations of finishing the third lesson and I hope to see you in a fourth one. Congratulations, you've just finished lesson three. Remember about lesson one and two if you didn't do it with us yet. And remember about backend course, which is prepared by my friend and it's going along with Angular course. So you can do backend, you can do frontend and you can have your app. So, Try it, I will leave you a link in the description so you can run it. And if you like the video, remember about thumbs up and remember to subscribe our channel and leave us a comment if you like it and what else you would like to build. I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye!